hello everyone i'm here with a new video and in this video i'm going to show you how to download sql server 2022 and install it on your local machine so as you can see uh, currently i'm on this microsoft page so what you have to do is uh, open new tab or the browser which you use uh, in my case i use edge type microsoft sql server uh, as you can see so i'll put this link in the description as well so you can directly click on that so you have to just uh, click on the first link so as soon as you click on the first link so you will be landed up on this page as you can see so what you have to do is uh, in my case as i mentioned i am going to install uh, sql on prem so just hit download here once you hit download so here you have to provide some basic details uh, you know just to download this so you can give any random details here so after providing the details and everything uh, let me give the company name as well to download this particular SQL Server setup, you have to give the details. So as you can see, I have given all the details and uh, accept the terms and condition. And at the bottom, I will hit download now. Once I hit download now, I am on this page. Please select your SQL Server 22 download. So we have two options. Either we can go with try on SQL Server on Azure or EXE. So in my case, I am going to download 64-bit edition. So I will just click on that. And here we have the setup file. Now I will go to my download folder. So this is a setup. Let me install this so once you install this as you can see we have currently evaluation edition if you want to go for developer edition you can do that that as well but for that you have to download the media tool here so if you don't want to download the media tool you can directly go with basic uh, things so basic what it does is it will give you pre-configuration you can easily install all the configuration is done by microsoft and it will immediately configure on your sql server as well so in my case i'll click on download after downloading uh, i have to select the iso image folder location so as you can see so it is same as that so i'll hit download and once the download uh, download complete i will show you how to install this so meanwhile i will take you to my website i have uh, you know created one website as well where i have guided with uh, all the steps so you can visit my website as well there this is my website i'll put this link in the description as well you can just directly hit here search for sql server and as soon as you see here we have get started with sql server 2022 download install everything is pre-guided here on this doc okay so let's go back to our installation process so i'll click this okay now it has been downloaded so i'll click open folder and as you can see here we have our sql server 22 i'll double click and i will try to install so here we have our setup file and uh, let me double click and open this particular setup file installation file once you do this let me put this in right side window so we have installation click on installation new sql server standalone installation hit that option if you are doing fresh installation probably if you are watching this video so i am assuming that you are using fresh installation now here you have to specify the evaluation version sorry the edition version so in, uh, as i told so you can go with the evaluation developer or express so in my case i will go with developer or evaluation even either ways are fine so i'll just select this i'll hit next the it will give you some predefined terms and conditions just accept that license and hit next once done so we have one warning so we can skip that particular warning and hit next so now here we have to select database engine services and if you want to go with analysis services or application you can do that as well but in my case i just want to install this sql server so i'll just hit that and all the installation folder directly everything is same and i'll hit next and i'll proceed further with the installation process now here we have two type of installation uh, default instance and named instance so named instance if you want to go with so you have to use your host name slash the name which you are going to give here but if you are using default it will uh, by default take your machine name okay so i'll leave it default so on this i have made a separate video uh, particularly uh, like discussing all about this so you can go watch that video if you want to know more about sql named instance and default instance accept the terms and condition hit next sorry not the terms and condition like the volume uh, ground volume maintenance task if you go with windows authentication so the user which you are using to currently logged into to this machine you are going to use that particular user here so if i hit add current user so obviously you have to do this so that uh, you will be able to log into the sql otherwise you can't do that so as you can see uh, this is my host name the machine name and this is a user which i'm using to log into this machine so that is the reason this is there and if you go with mix mode so you can create your own user already this user is present so this is a default user which microsoft gave us so you can't delete this but you can use this as a user yes say and give a password and you can specify that as well okay so in my case i will go with windows authentication mode and uh, uh, make sure you 
hit this option where it says add current user and once you are done click next and your installation process will start just hit install so let the installation complete uh, meanwhile to connect to this particular database of sql we are installing we need one tool to connect and query that so we'll download ssms so just hit ssms in new tab download sql server management studio and if you scroll a bit down i'll put this link in the chat window as well sorry the description so as as you can see if you scroll down we we get this option download sql server management studio and the download has started the installation is complete let me open and install this I'll, let me open and install this as well uh, because our sql server setup is running in the back end so meanwhile i'll quickly do th this as well as you can see uh, leave it default if you want to change you can make the changes in my case i'm going to leave this as default and uh, let's wait until the package loads okay it failed uh, maybe because our sql server is currently installing let's wait for this the sql installation is complete and i will hit close and i'll close this window as well the wizard and i will go with the sql server management studio installation so let let's hit next and check for the package progress the installation is successful i will hit close and again i will open the ssms sql server management studio so this is 20 let's open and connect to our sql database which is newly installed on this machine so as you can see as soon as we open we'll get this connect to server pop up so by default it will take the host name you remember we have installed a default instance that is the reason it is taking host name and if i try to connect it will connect okay just uh, check this box sql uh, trust server certificate and hit connect now if you have configured on named instance so what you have to do is just put slash and whatever name you have given for the sql server just put it here like if i give a sql db so if i'm going to give named instance so probably i'm going to th give this way that is the reason i'm saying but in my case it is named instance so just click on connect it will connect or you can go with loopback ip or local host even that is going to work perfectly fine okay so i'll hit connect and you can see now our sql database is like connected and if i want to query i'll hit new query and i'll get you the version of sql server which currently i'm running on this machine so just type version details and run this execute this query we'll get this uh, you know sql 2020 rtm version and october this was the latest uh, like you know the last time it was updated and it is running on windows 10 pro as you can see so this is how uh, you know you have to install sql 22 and connect through management studio and here you have all the system database that is master model msdb and temdb and suppose if you are using visual studio or visual code or azure data factory you can connect from there as well as you can see already i have azure data studio i'll just open this quickly and i'll show you how to do it it is very simple the same way you did here the same way you have to do there as well okay uh, hit connect at the top uh, left you can find this uh, small button connect button click on that and microsoft sql server by default selected so as i mentioned uh, you have to give your host name or local host anything is fine yeah, it is going to work so i'll give win 11 machine so i have given that and i will choose windows authentication and i will trust the server certificate and i will hit connect once i hit connect as you can see already we are connected to the database and as i shown that it will work here as well if you go to database system database all the things will be available like master model msdb and if you want to query just right click and open new query window and you can select the version or whatever you want to query as per your requirement okay so i'll just show you with the version details select star will run and here you can see we got the same output which we got from ssms so this is how uh, you have to install sql server 22 the latest one with latest build hope you got the idea i have shown you how to connect through azure data studio same way it works with the uh, visual code visual studio or ssms as well okay so i hope you like this video we'll see you in next upcoming videos and don't miss to check out uh, my website where i have guided you with all the steps you can go there as well and follow all the steps from there and if you have any comment or queries you can just put it over there so that i can take it forward see you in next video with upcoming windows server or sql server topics bye bye